excited for what we've got going on here today, excited what we can do here tomorrow and the next day and next year and the next five and ten years. I think it's going to be a lot for our community and for our people here in Ohio County. And for all you from outside of Ohio County visiting, welcome. We'd love to have you here and look forward to having you come back sometime. My name is Paul Sander from the mayor here in Beaver Dam, and we're just so excited to get this project off the road. So I know y'all didn't come here to hear me. So right now I'm going to introduce Jerry Wright, who works for Lunch at the Z here at WXMZ Radio in Ohio County. And he's got a few words he's going to say. And those of you who know Jerry knows that we can't have a microphone out here without him in front of it for at least a few minutes. So we're going to pass it by him. Where'd he go? Wow. <laughs> Jerry Wright. Wow. You know, this place is so new, the mayor hadn't even had time to put a tax on it yet. So, just kidding, mayor. You know, what, what a great lineup we have, but I just want to say to the entire Beaverdam Tourism Commission, what a fantastic job. This was not sitting here eight months ago. And anytime there's a little increase in something we have to pay in our daily lives, there's somebody that's going to put something negative about it. But this is so positive what, what they've decided to do here. We have Insulated, we have Brasher Bowl, we have Joe Diffie, we have Lone Star. I'm amazed at the talent we have here. Do you get that? Yeah. Let me tell you about the last 24 hours. I was at a pub and I had a little too much to drink, so they just propped me up next to the jukebox. Do you get that one? I'm colorblind. I seen a girl in a skirt a while ago. I said, what color is that? She said, John Deere green. Do you get that? I called a friend of mine, Chad Bingo, who's going to be on in just a few seconds. I said, Chad, are you coming to the concert? He said, Jerry, I'm already there. Do you get that, folks? <laughs> and with that, I would like to introduce a good friend of ours. He's at WBKR 92.5. He's part of the morning team. You hear him every morning. He definitely needs to drink caffeine, decaf. Well, uh, we can't get him to switch to a uh, decaf, so uh, you get the hyper Chad Bennyfield every time you see. Please welcome from WBKR 92.5, Chad Bennyfield. Thank you, Mr. Mom. Did y'all get that one? Yeah. <laughs> um, how cool is this? Yeah. It's amazing. Is that we were here, uh, I think, in June for a battle for the Big O audition. They brought in a makeshift stage over by the Ball Diamonds, and this was just a thought. This is absolutely amazing. So a great big round of applause for Beaver Dam, Kentucky! So you heard the loudest. Let me ask, who's here to see Joe Diffie tonight? Who is here to see Lone Star tonight? Well, to get things started, we have an awesome band for you guys from Owensboro, Kentucky, so make a lot of noise for them, okay? Put your hands together for my friends, Insulated! Hey, you got my suit, you Just now put the vocal cut on this song. It's going to be on the record before long. Check it out. The song's called Let It Go.
and shield She's loving the way it feels Oh, she's making me so Driving this truck like a new COVID Slow down, I'm so fast Girls make it last Well, I'm going down the road Turn it back, let it go We're gonna have some good time Something up a little no child So, uh, did you guys enjoy Insulated? Uh, what do y'all think of the new amphitheater so far? By the way, if you are not from Ohio County, welcome to Ohio County and the great city of Beaver Dam. So who's not from here? Well, actually a bunch. Okay, so who's from here? Uh, thank you all for coming this evening. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, if you're over in the woods, too cheap to pay to get in. We Look at them. They're in the woods. Point at them. Wave at them. We see you. You should have worn camouflage. Because with the safety orange on, you just glow in the dark. You guys ready for some more music? Uh, I have to ask, what do you think about the, the tank top? <laughs> Last weekend, these guys opened for Kid Rock. What about that? If you are looking for a band, by God, you found one because they're right here. I'm supposed to tell you that they are incredibly talented, happily married, painfully sexy, they made me say it. You, you told me to say it. Put your hands together for pressure. Boom! Thank y'all very much. Thank you, Chad. The color of your eyes matches the shade of the passenger side of my Chevron. Get pumped. Get ready. We got one more for you. Oh, no. 
that I hate to waste my sail on a city bum like you I'll tell you what you need to do Get back in that Subaru, boy This place ain't for sale I carry on and I hold flame A long line The family name Is written deep in this ground And I swear to God I won't back down And I don't run I am a son of a gun This is a soldier. He has been on ESPN Radio. He's done other uh, uh, interviews. He is with the Kentucky Pro Bass Warriors. Let, let me tell you a little story about this soldier. When he was 21 years old, he was uh, injured in Iraq. He is disabled. He doesn't want to talk about the, the uh, depth of his injuries, which we don't blame him. But uh, he's in a situation now where literally he is even scared to be out here on the stage. He was telling me earlier. Before we start this, would everyone please stand up and thank him for serving in our military? He is not even from Ohio County. He is from, he's originally from Illinois, correct? Now you live in Elizabethtown, and if you'd come up for just a second, uh, the reason that they are special guests, the Kentucky Pro Bass Warriors, and we're going to tell you a little bit more about that in just a second, but uh, uh, he was injured when he was 21 years old, that was seven years ago, and uh, he was telling me earlier backstage, he can't work anymore, and uh, the most important thing for him right now is to know that he's being supported because there's a lot of issues going on. He told me on the way down here, he can't even drive on a expressway, correct? You take the, the back roads, right? Back roads all the way. He said if this concert was in Louisville, he would not appear there because there would be too many people there. He's, he's very hesitant to be around large crowds. And Sergeant O'Dell, would you please tell him a little bit about where he was and exactly what you've gone through? All right, my name is Daniel O'Dell. Um, I was a chef in the military. When I went to Iraq, we didn't cook. We did, we did stuff, you know, that happens at war, the good and the bad. Um, unfortunately, I went everywhere, all the way up to, uh, I think it was Turkey, all the way up top, um, northern Iraq, to all the way southern Baghdad. That's roughly the area that I flew around and did a lot of stuff. Um, one time I didn't, did get blown up. I have a lot of spinal issues and traumatic brain injury. Um, the, a lot of other stuff that happened is a lot of mental. That's why you know these crowds and everything. Without the small, the small town and all the support that the soldiers get and the veterans get, I couldn't be up here and do this. And without this wonderful Kentucky Pro Bass Warrior organization that takes me out fishing once a month for free, completely for free, and all volunteers just do it. Just take me out, and any other veteran out there can go out. It's just getting back out there and having fun, doing what's natural or what you guys do every day on a day-to-day -day basis, but for me it's very hard to even get out of my house. So I just want to personally thank all of you for the support that you give us and all the soldiers here in America. I have another soldier here. Uh, a lot of times we still have that state of mind when we say soldier, we think male. But this is obviously not a male. What is your name? Susan Slayton. And where are you from? I'm originally from Madisonville, Kentucky. From Madisonville, Kentucky. And uh, Kentucky Pro Bass Warriors have helped you as well, right? That's right. It, it's got my family involved with what, what goes on with me. My brother's one of the ones who goes out on a regular basis taking people fishing. I, I didn't come home with physical scars. I came home with PTSD. And it's... Like, like he was talking about, about being in large crowds and other things like that, it's difficult. And it's more difficult to connect with people who may not understand and we don't know how to explain what's going on. But that gives us an opportunity to get together with other veterans who we feel like know what we've been through and we can open up, relax a little bit and let go of some of that. And what is your name? Susan Slayton. And what is your rank? I was a specialist in the Army. I was a quartermaster mechanic. 
a mechanic. Can we give her a round of applause, please? Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to talk just a few seconds here about Kentucky Pro Bass Warriors. This is uh, one of the representatives. Uh, if anybody out there that knows someone who's suffering from PSD or any other things uh, that they uh, that they may have inherited during the wartime, uh, how do they get a hold of you guys? We uh, we have a website, KentuckyProBassWarriors.com. Uh, we we will actually take any vets, any wounded soldiers, and we're thinking about branching out this year to active soldiers because the influx of soldiers coming back from war is down, which is a good thing, uh, always. So, uh, but yeah, if you need to get a hold to me, uh, do we have any vets, soldiers here? All right. Uh, anybody be interested in our program? It's totally free to soldiers and vets, and uh, we would love to get you hooked up. We'll take you out uh, nine months out of the year. We've got two more events this year that we'd love to get you hooked up to. And uh, just get a hold to me after the concert or just as soon as I get off this stage, and we'll see if we can get you signed up. But anyway, get on our website. You can do it through our website. Career O'Brien uh, couldn't be here today because he had a death in his family. He's the founder of the program and a uh, super nice guy, and uh, he's in it for the soldiers, and that's it. But uh, we are a 501c3 organization as of now, so anybody that wants to do any donating, we look for sponsors. We give our soldiers a uh, free rod and rails a gift pack at each uh, meet that we have. So it's just a great organization to be in. Thank you very much. Let's Thank give you. another round of applause. Thank you, Bob. Chad was telling you guys earlier that uh, all the folks that's visiting uh, Ohio County for the first time, we want to say thank you once again. You know, it's a little tricky to get around Ohio County if you're not from here. Here's a story that happened recently. There was a new preacher in town, and uh, you know this is a joke. Uh, there was a new preacher in town, and uh, uh, there was a homeless guy that passed away, and they needed somebody to uh, preach his funeral. So. They called the new guy, the new preacher in town, and he said, I'll be right there. Well, he said, it's out Prentice Road. So uh, he didn't know where Prentice Road was, so he just kept traveling. So finally he found, he got there just as they had finished with the grave. Hello, Trevor Lewis. As soon as they'd finished putting, covering up the grave, he got there, and everybody else had left. So he asked the grave diggers, he said, I'm sorry I'm late. Would you please... Uh, stand up with me and have a moment of silence and a prayer. So the guys did, and the preacher got in his car and he's left. And the other guy looked at his friend and said, you know what? <laughs> Punchline. One guy looked at the other guy and said, you know what? We've laid a lot of septic tanks in our lives, but that has never happened before. <laughs> so Ohio County is a, a tough place to get around, but we want to say thank you to all of you who, once again, raise your hand if you're not from Ohio County. We appreciate all of you guys coming in. And also I want to say thank you uh, to the Beaverdale Tourism Commission, but I really want to say thank you to uh, Chad Benningfield, obviously from BKR. Also, Jason Tierney. I don't know if you know Jason Tierney. He is part of the Beaver Dam Tourism Commission, and uh, this was his dream, and he has worked his butt off to get it along with the rest of the commission. And would you please give Jason Tierney a round of applause, please? I don't know where he's at. Chad will be back in just a minute. He's changing his tank tops to Joe Diffie's. So don't go anywhere. we got more music coming up. So is everybody staying warm? That's a yes and a no. I heard a lot of no's. Yeah. Welcome to Beaver Dam, Alaska. <laughs> How do we like the new Beaver Dam Amphitheater? <laughs> so y'all ready for some more music? Yeah. Next guy coming to the stage has been a member of the Grand Ole Opry for 20 years. He's had 20 top 10 hits and 13 number ones. You guys ready? You're ready for a little Joe, Joe, Joe Diffie! Joe Diffie, everybody, in Beaver Dam! Computer on. Operating system loaded. Country music selected. Joe Diffie. Joe, 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 Joe. Like about a 
pick a man. In five, four, three, one, welcome to Earth, the rock from the sun.